Okay, I was in a band first, local band, and I was performing with them. From there, I met Eric Ku, and he influenced me, and I saw him making short films and eventually made debut Mi Pokman. And I had always loved film, but never ever imagined to be part of the team of filmmaking. I was just thinking like it's by someone up there and I just consume. So it was an eye opening that, oh, okay, my drinking buddy is making a feature film, you know. <laughs> wow. And he welcomed us to be on the location and I saw the film shooting process and all that. That was so interesting. And I thought, well, I'm doing music, something to do with sound. I would like to be part of the filmmaking team by sound. So I went to search for the place to learn those. And back then there was a school called SAE School of Audio Engineering. It still is around, but not in Singapore. Because, you know, like all other schools start to teach film sound also. I think private schools too expensive to compete with them. So they are no longer exist, but I learned from there. And actually, it was like a crash course, mixture of like music recording and mix, and also production sound and post-production sound. Since I knew what I want to do is film, there were multiple studios in the school itself. And the smallest studio was just one pair of speakers with computer which is something called Pro Tools. Even back then, it became the de facto standard software for film sound mixing. It's basically recorder and editor for sound. So every night I booked and I overstayed there and I just flip around uh, the manual to learn it. Then the next morning when the lecturers come in, I asked, tons of questions that I couldn't figure out from the manual. So it's like, yeah, I was motivated enough to do that. Your motive is the best learning tool. You know, if you're not motivated, best teacher isn't good enough for you.